Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Tony Gia, and at the request of the Montgomery International Film Festival Committee, I have been requested to be your host for the night. I see a lot of familiar faces here tonight. Some of you might recognize me from hosting a lot of events in the region, and some of you might recognize me from my work on the YouTube channel, Asian Boss. Today, I was originally going to be one of the guests to be attending, but duty called, and here I am once again as your host, so today, I stand here as co-organizer of the Montgomery International Film Festival on behalf of the Asian Art and Film Foundation. Now, on behalf of all of us here on the committee, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude for those who are with us here tonight. Please welcome our six amazing judges. They are Ashish Wag, Nikki Baum, Jeff Brown, Kirk Ride, Guy Renardo, and Ping Fu. Please come up to the stage. Now, I would like to ask some of the judges to briefly introduce some of the films selected for this festival. Uh, well, there was Time Out. Uh, that was one of the films. It was a really excellent film. Jeff? Uh, there's a film called Lost. Very engaging. I really enjoyed the film The Square. Actually, I enjoyed the, the good film is like The Square and uh, The Last Chance. I very much loved Kilikis, the town of owls from Morocco, Winay Pacha from Peru, and Shot in the Dark from Argentina about tango. I have to say, yeah, so the tango was terrific, really, yeah. Oh, wait, and Les Salopes, The Pleasure of Skin, I believe, yes, by Rene, who's here with us tonight in the audience, and the composer, David, who's also here with us tonight. Yes, I, all the films were great. It was a, uh, just a wonderful opportunity to see so many amazing films from all around the world. So I was really grateful to be a part of the jury and being able to see everybody's masterpieces. So thank you so much to all the filmmakers. Yes, all the films were so different from so many different countries and cultures all coming together and exploring the art of cinema in a very personal way. And I just want to say, regardless of this being an award ceremony, each film was very significant, creative, unique, and an excellent, beautiful vision and choice. Just being a part of the festival as a whole and as a selection from all the thousands of submissions that were sent in means that you are on the top. So just remember that. And that's what I have to say about it. And also as a Chinese, I also very enjoy uh, the film, uh, The Last Chance. Well, thank you to our amazing judges, and please join me in giving them a round of applause. Please be seated. Now, let us continue our applause uh, well, I would like to invite Ms. Karina Ho, the chairman of the Montgomery International Film Festival. Thank you, Tony. On behalf of MIFF, we want to thank U.S. Secretary of Transportation, Yilin Chao, for sending us a greeting and congratulatory letter acknowledge our first film festival here in Montgomery County and awards ceremony. <laughs> Distinguished guests, judges, film artists, friends, colleagues, and all of our film festival supporters, welcome. <laughs> My name is Karina Hao, co-chairman of MIFF. 
Words cannot explain how excited I am here and how thankful I am to everyone who is here tonight. Without help and support, this, first of all, would not be possible. This moment marks the start of our very own Film Festival Awards ceremony and the culmination of a long time dream of mine. I would like to personally thank all of the filmmakers who submit their films and all of our judges for reviewing over 1,700 submit the films this year. Yeah, and I am so glad that I'm not one of them. That's a lot of films to watch. It wasn't easy getting to where we are now, but I guarantee that our first of all will continue to improve and each one will be better than the next. I learned that most of the filmmakers who came to our first of all have never been or heard Montgomery County before. So I truly hope they have fallen in love with this beautiful county. And we look forward to coming back every year. I'm determined to make Montgomery International Film Festival become an established platform for artists and filmmakers alike to showcase their masterpieces. I hope that everyone is here at this award ceremony today will continue to help and support us as we to continue to grow and develop more of an international presence for the arts of Montgomery County. Thank you all. Let's off, hold off on a process for now and save them to cheer on this year's, this evening's winners. Thank you very much, and let the party begin. <laughs> to those of you who are working in Montgomery County, uh, just, just know that to all of our guests who's never heard of Montgomery County, I've spent a couple of days of work introducing the wonderful county to them, and we had some good times. And please allow me to ex to extend our deepest appreciation on behalf of the MFF committee to the state of Maryland. We initially actually planned on receiving support from the government after establishing ourselves maybe during our second or third festival. But to our surprise, we received funding from the Maryland Film Office for the very first time, uh, for the very first time that we were organizing this festival. So thank you, Karina, and thank you to the state of Maryland. As you all know, without the vision from Karina, we would have never made this festival into what it is today. Next up, I would like to welcome the Deputy Secretary of the Maryland Department of Commerce, Benjamin Wu. Good evening, everybody. And thank you, Tony. Uh, if I could ask uh, Christina Poi uh, from the Governor's Office of Community Initiatives to also come up. Uh, you know, I've learned from having watched years of the Oscars uh, that no speaker uh, can come up without having an attractive co-speaker. So, <laughs> so, Christina, thank you for filling that role. Uh, and uh, you know, congratulations to everybody who has dedicated so much uh, to make this first inaugural and annual Amer Montgomery International Film Festival such a success. And, uh, on behalf of Governor Larry Hogan, Christina and I are so pleased uh, to be here uh, to congratulate all of you uh, and to offer uh, our support uh, for this film festival. Uh, Christina has a letter on behalf of the governor which uh, she'd like to read. Thank you, Ben. Dear friends, welcome to the 2019 Montgomery International Film Festival. I'm delighted to provide this welcoming message to you. The Montgomery International Film Festival allows Marylanders to see the amazing art from all around the world in their own backyard. 
and I welcome everyone who has traveled to our great state to take advantage of all that Montgomery County and Maryland has to offer. Your films help bring cultural awareness that will broaden our horizons and see new ideas. I would like to thank the film festival's hardworking organizers for all of their efforts. Your passion for the arts helps Maryland see their dreams come to life and change things for the better. Best wishes for a successful event and many more in years to come. Sincerely, Larry Hogan, Governor of Maryland. So to, to Christina, uh, Karina, uh, to Margaret, uh, Tony, Simon, and all of you who have uh, worked so hard over the course of not just the past few days, several weeks, months, and years to help plan uh, this film festival, uh, congratulations. I know how hard it is uh, to be able to create a film festival out of scratch, uh, and it is no small feat. So uh, the films uh, that you've watched over the course of the past several days, uh, the awardees uh, that you'll be giving a recognition to uh, shortly, uh, they all owe a debt of gratitude uh, to uh, the sponsors. So once again, a round of applause and thank you for your sponsors. You know, movies and television are one of America's leading exports. Uh, and in Maryland, uh, we contribute greatly uh, to showcasing the magic of movies to the world. You know, we've seen uh, some of the films, uh, little previews uh, just, just a few minutes ago, uh, in which uh, they're telling great stories. They're talking about the human condition, uh, and they allow us to uh, have thoughts uh, long beyond and, and stay with us long beyond after uh, the ending credits uh, have rolled. Uh, and in Maryland, we have a rich history of being involved with films. Uh, films such as The Runaway Bride, uh, Wedding Crashers, uh, Ladder 39, uh, The uh, Blair Witch Project, Enemy of the State, and Step It Up are just a few of the films that have been uh, filmed here uh, in Maryland. And most recently, we've also been home to several award-winning cable uh, and streaming productions like Veep and also House of Cards. And I have a, a secret that I want to share with you uh, that's not quite ready for public uh, announcement, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, but there will be a, show, a, a, a new show coming uh, uh, produced by Showtime that will be filmed here uh, in Maryland that we believe uh, will be potentially as big as the House of Cards, so uh, stay tuned for that. But you know, one of the reasons why, for Maryland, we've been so focused uh, on supporting film uh, and the film industry uh, is because ultimately it means jobs. Uh, and the Maryland Film Office is located uh, at uh, the Maryland Department of Commerce. Uh, and we've been proud uh, through the Film Production Activity Tax Credit uh, since its inception back in 2011, 13 productions uh, have uh, received uh, several millions of dollars with a gross annual impact of $800 million uh, to Maryland's economy. Uh, and that includes uh, set design, that includes uh, the uh, production uh, staff, uh, that includes all the elements of making uh, the magic of cinema real. Uh, for example, just in House of Cards alone, uh, we hired over 2,000 Maryland residents uh, over uh, each business season. Uh, and uh, we've also been able to uh, be able to continue to brand Maryland as a prime destination uh, for film and television production. Now, I went to school in New York at NYU, and so uh, several of my uh, classmates, uh, because uh, NYU has one of the top film schools in the country, uh, are filmmakers. Uh, and I was also very privileged to be able to uh, take a number of film history courses uh, to learn even more uh, about cinema, about production, and the magic of movies. Uh, and it's, it's just a terrific uh, industry uh, that uh, continues to uh, be such an important part of who we are uh, as uh, not just uh, Americans, but also uh, as humans as well. And so we participate in this Maryland Film, Interna Montgomery County uh, International Film Festival uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, one of the major reasons is that uh, we get to see films that you can't see anywhere. Uh, you can't see it on uh, streaming digital uh, or uh, in uh, 
in the theaters. And so being able to see some of these productions uh, is very special. But you know, almost as exciting as being able to see a great film uh, is being able uh, to have the opportunity to discuss, uh, to be able to agree or even argue uh, about the film with some of the fellow film festivals. Uh, and you know, experiencing a film at a film festival, especially if we have this, the ability to have the special engagement with the filmmakers and some of the actors uh, in the film, uh, this shared experience uh, allows us uh, to enjoy film even more. And for film lovers uh, such as myself and all of you, uh, this is a very special experience. Uh, and so being able to have this Montgomery International Film Festival right here in Montgomery County, uh, where we have one of the most diverse uh, populations uh, in the country, allows us to once again brand Montgomery County uh, as one of uh, the best international destinations. Uh, and for all of us uh, who are from the community, being able uh, to see films uh, from our homelands or from other parts of the world uh, allows us uh, to continue uh, to connect us uh, through the magic of movies and also being able uh, to see some of our friends, our local friends in some of these films uh, and also the, the, the work that they've done through these filmmakers uh, is, is just another special experience. Uh, and being able to recognize uh, the people, the producers, the directors, and the actors uh, for their contributions uh, is also very special. And so it's a pleasure for Christine and I to be here today. And once again, uh, thank you uh, to the host committee, uh, to all the sponsors uh, for making this first annual Montgomery International Film Festival reality. And we look forward to continuing uh, on with this on an annual basis. I told this assignment, I said, you're doing this again next year, right? And he looked at me really tired <laughs> with his eyes and says, yes, we hope so. So thank you uh, to all of you, Simon. We hope uh, this will only be the beginning of a long uh, trajectory uh, and a long tradition and history of once again uh, bringing great international films and branding Montgomery County as one of the top international destinations uh, in the country. So congratulations to all the winners. Thank you very much, Tony, for the opportunity to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Benjamin and Christina. As, as I said before earlier, without their help and the help from the Maryland Film Office, we would not have been able to pull this off by ourselves. So thank you again. Since the, since the very beginning, when we first had the idea of starting a film festival, we actually received advices from a very uh, established expert. His name is Roger Garcia. And Roger, could I please invite you up to give a couple of your remarks? Roger is the former chairman of the Hong Kong International Film Festival. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you very much. First of all, um, I'd like to thank the Montgomery International Film Festival for inviting me to their first edition. And also thank you to Chairwoman Hao and Sha for the hospitality and also the directors, uh, Hang Wei and uh, Jay, uh, and their staff and particularly the young volunteers whom I've met. Uh, you've made our stay very enjoyable. I think uh, I'll just say a few words. Um, Film festivals are important and can play an important role in bringing and helping to develop the cultural life of a community. And I think that uh, film festivals bring a diversity of culture and experiences to communities and audiences that may not necessarily know about these particular films from around the world. And uh, you have seen a selection of them here. Too often nowadays, uh, we watch movies on our smartphones and computer screens rather than continuing what was the essence of cinema, which is to watch films on a big screen in a communal setting. I think Benjamin referred to this just now. It's very important that we preserve the uh, experience of going to see movies together, and also, of course, develop some critical thinking about them. 
And nowadays, uh, people go to the theater, but mainly to watch blockbuster films, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there's, of course, a whole range of cinema as well, which is important for us to introduce to younger generations. Otherwise, we will begin to lose the idea of what is culture and what is cinema and how do films fit into our society. And in America, where movies, uh, uh, movies actually took off as a commercial venture, uh, I think it's very important that we continue also to promote the idea of the art of cinema, uh, particularly in uh, communities where, which are perhaps not at the center of urban uh, or uh, urban centers. And I think in a community like uh, here, in Montgomery County, you have a very good opportunity to bring in uh, new and young audiences to watch uh, quality and interesting and different films. Um, I, I'd like to thank the, uh, the state of Maryland and also uh, Montgomery County for supporting the festival. It's quite a bold move, I have to say, having been involved in many film festivals myself, it's not that easy actually to, to start a film festival and it's even a little bit more difficult sometimes for officials to lend their support to a venture. So congratulations and thank you to the government officials who have helped make this happen. Um, in closing, I'd just like to wish the Montgomery International Film Festival all the best. Uh, I hope it will play a vital and important role in the community and also bring uh, filmmakers and talents from around the globe uh, to this uh, wonderful uh, community and environment that you have here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roger. And we're so fortunate here to have Roger's advice since the very beginning. Next up, I'd like to invite Guy Renardo, one of our judges, to speak on behalf of all the judges here tonight. Guy, Guy, please. Thank you. So, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I'm one of the jurors, and, and they asked me to, to tell something about art house films. So uh, first of all, uh, I want to welcome you all and to the first uh, Montgomery International Film Festival, and to express my heartfelt thanks to all of you jo enjoying the return of art films. The most important question is, what can we learn from those beautiful films. Civilizations always become more productive and more powerful through exchanges and mutual learning from each other. Such exchanges and mutual learning from an essential drive of human progress as a global peace and development. Cultural events such as this festival, the Montgomery International Film Festival, enable direct exchanges and dialogues among civilizations and people. Film and music speak a universal language. It has a meaning and relevance for the people, regardless to the national culture or social background. The film, as a popular means of modern art, breaks the barriers of people, underscoring the values, feelings and longings and sharing by human beings. The film is a major carrier to reproduce life and reflect the times. As a film composer, and I'm also a film composer and producer in Amsterdam and also in LA, I have to spot a lot of films. And spotting, that means that you get a film uh, without music and you discuss also with a director, how to put and where to put the music on it. So you have to know a lot about movies and how to put right, right music and how to express also the emotion. Because when you are, for, for example, um, looking to a romantic movie, it's always the music that makes people cry. So <laughs> that's true, I think, yeah. Um, so, um, 
film music is a subject that's still widely underestimated. So that's that's true. By many directors in 2019, European film that directors, in particular, for the sake of convenience, um, have some online music from somewhere, and to save costs. That's a reality because you know we as composer know exactly where to put the right music on it. And now these days, you have the possibility to take some online music, you know. Com composed from an other composer, didn't know nothing about the movie. So for all the directors, I say, you know, try to hire a good composer, because a good composer makes you film. Um, so investing in a good composer is just important as good actors, camera people, and everyone else involved. Of course, everybody can play a melody, maybe sing of it, but film music requires a lot of knowledge and understanding of music and film. Many examples of top movies are, are the proof of this. In closing, I want to speak for the judges. To be one of the judges is not an easy task. So you have to look at a lot of movies. And um, what I like the most about this festival is um, it's multicultural. And it's amazing to see movies from Morocco, China, uh, Finland, uh, the US, and to see all those cultures and to see all these people, these beautiful people, um, putting their soul into that film. So, uh, what I liked very much was the documentary with the tango music. That was my, my uh, personal choice. And if you have an opportunity to see that film, you have to see it. But you know, you have also wonderful other movie, futures movie, and also short films. Made by people who have put their energy into it. Now we are coming to a very difficult point. It's the awards, because to get an out and our award is always something challenging. So I support, her, the, I support the idea of awards as a way to encourage the support filmmakers. Film festivals are most important as a place where films can be screened and discussed, argued and enjoyed. It is like the old gambler, Nick the Creek once said, the next best thing is playing and winning, is playing and losing. What matters is that you are in the arena making art, fighting a good fight, and letting your voice be heard. Once again, thank you so much for the organization to inviting me to such a beautiful festival. I had wonderful days here, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. And Guy and I share a very special connection because I spent the most amount of time trying to pronounce his name. So thank you for bearing with me, Guy. Yeah. So next, we have a very special guest. His name is Marc Bachet. He is the Oscar winner of the 2001 film No Man's Land. As in America, people actually call him Marc Basket. So Marc, please, please come up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I've been really happy to come here. Thank you, Margaret, and thank you, Karina. I call you by the first name. And thank you to, all, to everybody working for this festival, because I know there are a lot of people and volunteers working for this festival. I've been very happy. The, the conditions were very good. The food was good. <laughs> thank you. And, and also the city. I didn't know my land. That's the first time I come here. I knew Washington, D.C., but not my land. I was happy to look at it. I wish I could have a few days more, extra few days, to uh, visit my land. But I'm sure I will come back if you invite me again, <laughs> Karina. <laughs> you know, last May I was in Cannes. That was my 46th festival in Cannes, film festival in France. They have like uh, 80 films selected out of 5,000 films. In, only India produced more than 2,000 films. So you know there is a large, large uh, space to pick up films and to show the films. 
because they are very good films. It's not because Cannes take only 80, that the rest of the films are not good. They are very good. And we need these kind of festivals, like yours, because you have these Hollywood films and you have these Bollywood films. Bollywood is mixed between Bombay and Hollywood, and they call Indian people call it Bollywood films, and they are a huge industry there. And what we're doing, and what I'm doing since 50 years, is making independent films, because we have the right to exist, and what we bring is really worth it, and the people like to see independent films. What we are missing are the festivals like yours, and we are missing theaters too, because there are too many films on the planet. So uh, we want to have more festivals, more people like Karina to select the films and to make a nice festival like this one. And I would like to say that independent film is really important. You see, like in India, I produced a, a film called uh, uh, uh, The Lunchbox. The Lunchbox is the first film since years and years, Indian film which went all over the world and which was a big success. Here in your country, in the USA, it, went, uh, it was on the top for six weeks in the category foreign language film. So I brought this Indian culture to uh, USA, and it was a very nice window for, for, the, uh, for India. And I hope many people will do it. And I hope that many people like you will relay these films and will show these films in their festivals. The film, the Indian film I had here as an opening film, is called uh, Lihaf. It was a very controversial subject, especially in India. It was about homosexuality. And it was pulled out of a book from 19, uh, 1922, which was very famous, but it was very scandalous. And I think that films, you like it or not, but you can go forward on new ideas on, and uh, new judgment about the society and you can talk about it. So I'm very happy to have been doing my job, and I'm more happy <laughs> than anybody else to see all these new filmmakers, women and men, working on films. I think it's very great. And thank you again for your welcoming. And we have a letter also that I know that uh, from US Congressman David Trone. Is he here? Uh, is his letter here? Hello, good evening. My name is Megan Glazer. I'm here on behalf of the congressman who couldn't be here tonight. I just wanted to thank you for attending tonight's ceremony and showing your shared appreciation for international film. Festivals like these present a grand opportunity for cultural exchange. And though the culture and nations that are represented here today are far apart geographically, today they are underneath one roof. The Congressman extends his greeting and appreciation for all the hard work that has gone into making this event happen and has asked that I read the following letter on his behalf. Dear friends, it is my honor to greet everyone attending this year's Montgomery International Film Festival. This festival is an exciting chance for independent filmmakers, producers, screenwriters, and directors from all around the globe to showcase their projects and talents. MIFF gives participants an opportunity to experience and encourage aspiring creators and raise awareness for the arts in our community. I would like to extend a special thank you to the AMC Theater at the Rio Washingtonian Center in Gaithersburg for hosting the 2019 MIFF from August 18th through August 25th. In particular, I would like to commend Chairman Karina Howe and the entirety of the Montgomery International Film Festival staff for their hard work and dedication. I'm proud to serve such a diverse county, and I look forward to working with MIFF to enhance our community's rich culture through cinema. Thank you for including my office and me in this great occasion. I wish all those participating in this year's Montgomery International Film Festival the best of luck. Sincerely, Congressman David Trump. So next, I would like to invite the representative for Montgomery County Executive, Mark Eric. Is he? 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Yi Shen. Um, I am the Asian liaison for Montgomery County. Um, the county executive is, uh, he's out of town and he can't make it tonight. He sends his regard. Um, thank you so much for uh, Chair Hu and Chair Sha for picking Montgomery County as the site for the film festival. Um, why is Montgomery County an ideal location? If everybody, if, if anyone is interested, just Google the top um, most diverse cities in America. We have four out of 10 cities in America with Gaithersburg, where you're at right now, holding the number one spot for 20, 30 years, I think. Um, it's currently New York, but you know, we'll, we'll catch up. We'll, we'll get it back, no worries. <laughs> um, if I could have Chair Shai and Hope uh, uh, come up and um, I have a citation to present. And, and uh, Deputy Secretary Wu, I have two lovely ladies instead of one, so I'm, you know, no competition, but you know, I'm just. Uh, the County Executive of Montgomery County, Maryland, awards this certificate to Montgomery International Film Festival in recognition and appreciation for your dedication to the arts and international culture. Your commitment and hard work have made Montgomery County more welcoming, diverse, and enlightened. I wish you continued success in all future endeavors. Uh, signed County Executive Mark Elrich, August 25th, 2019, and we hope to have uh, Montgomery uh, Film, in in I'm sorry, Montgomery International Film Festival here next year again. Thank you so much. So next we have a speech by the co-chairman, Margaret Schott. Margaret, sorry, you're going to have to come back up but she will be announcing the start of the award ceremony. I'm so excited. And uh, right now, I just can't speak my mother language. <laughs> Uh, I ask Tony um, to translation. Nishman,先生们,晚上好。此刻我站在这里,真的是无限的感慨。想到明天,将要和我来自世界各地的朋友们分离。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Standing here at this moment, I am filled with joy, and all of this feels surreal. I am certain that it would be very difficult for me when I bid you all farewell tomorrow. But,想到三天前,我站在这里迎接你们的那份喜悦。我又感觉自己仿佛 but thinking back about the joy that I experienced here meeting you for the past three days will always remain a wonderful memory I will always cherish. I remember how happy I was for the past three days, seeing people make friends with each other from different countries such as Europe, Asia, and North America. It was wonderful watching everyone exchange their exploration of art and expression of their own ideas. This is a precious three days that we have dedicated to the growth of independent films. This is an unforgivable three days belonging to the filmmakers and a dream of mine coming to reality. This three days belongs to the dreams of all of us. 
我相信每一个人在三天里都有所收获。I truly hope you all have gained some invaluable experiences, made some long-lasting friends, and had a wonderful time the past three days. 衷心的感谢你们的到来。Thank you guys all for coming. 也感谢所有为电影节做出贡献的人。And thank you for everyone that's contributed to this film festival. Please remember this beautiful time. Please remember our dreams and bring it with you to a new journey. Please remember our mission. Please remember our dream. Please remember our mission. Please remember our dream. Please take it with you wherever you go. In the new film journey, please remember our mission. Please remember our dream. 这一创作理念。No matter where you go with your dreams and filming aspirations, please remember our mission: the return of art house films. 电影要回归艺术本体，电影要带给人类美好的影响，这是我们每个电影人的责任。The movies should be returned to its original state. The movies should bring a sense of joy to everyone, and that is our dream of film. I believe the new success is in the distance, waiting for you, waiting for us. I believe new success is waiting for us in the near future. At this moment, please let me announce the most inspiring moment of the film festival, the Golden Globe Award. 现在开始。It is my pleasure to announce that the moment that we've been all waiting for, the award ceremony of the Montgomery International Film Festival. 请尽情享受这惊喜连连的时刻吧。让我们一起来分享颁奖者，让我们一起分享获奖者的喜悦，为他们喝彩，为他们鼓掌。Let us enjoy these upcoming moments. Let us share in the joy of the winners of the films, and please let us all cheer for each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite the legal counsel of the Montgomery International Film Festival. Rajiv Gol. It's my uh, my honor and pleasure to be the official witness of tonight's award ceremony. Uh, it's my pleasure and my joy, as Karina, when she invited me for this great honor, that independent films, especially documentaries, have brought just tremendous joy. And as many of the speakers have already mentioned. The cinematic experience is just a great one, and it touches so many different emotions. And for me specifically, it's one that's brought uh, new ideas, uh, greater understanding, and above all, great inspiration. So it truly is my honor uh, to be here as the official witness of tonight's ceremony. With that being said, as Margaret said, the time is finally upon us. In my possession are the official results. And before I hand them over to Margaret to make the official announcements, there's one point that I think bears repeating、uh, before we announce tonight's awardees. Before and as part of this ceremony, there was more than 1,786 submissions that were made by the stated deadline, and those submissions came worldwide. Of that, ultimately, 59. Films were presented over the course of the last several days, and will be narrowed down to 18 awardees. So the awardees, of course, everyone is a great winner tonight. But there's a special honor for the 18 that will be announced in the moments to come. So again, thank you for this great honor. Congratulations to the success of this event, and I wish many years of success in the years to come. And I look forward to being part of this experience. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret.、Yeah. Thank you, Rajiv. Now you may be seated. Oh、uh, yeah. yeah. I、uh, don't worry. I 
uh, will take care of them. I trust that you will. Here is the moment of truth. I would like to invite Maryland State Senator Susan Lee to reveal our very first award. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'm State Senator from Maryland, uh, Senator Susan Lee. I'm really privileged and honored to be here. Uh, this is a great, wonderful international film festival, and this is the inauguration of it all. There's so much talent here. I thank the judges. I thank the sponsors. I thank um, Karina Ho for having the vision, the chairman, Margaret Shaw, and uh, Simon Chan, and, um, and all those who made this happen. Tony, thank you, too, for getting this together. But I'd also like to, before we go on, to acknowledge uh, some of the people we want to recognize for their contribution to making this film festival happen. Uh, we, we want to acknowledge some other members in the audience that are here today, too, uh, particularly my colleague in the Maryland House of Delegates, Lily Chi. Can you stand up, Lily? And um, My wonderful colleague, Senator uh, Clarence Lamb, couldn't be here today, but he, had, uh, he also helped get this together, too. Uh, we also have a representative from Senator uh, Ben Cardin's office, Ken Reinhardt. Could you stand up and be acknowledged, please? <laughs> we have two members from the uh, Gatorsburg uh, County Council, and that's Lori Sells and Mike Sesma, if they are here today. Okay. And we also have, uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Ben Wu, for those wonderful remarks and being here and for getting the funding to, uh, from the state to be able to have this wonderful International Film Festival. And of course, uh, the wonderful Honorable uh, Sam Mock. And also, we have um, a guest, uh, the, His Excellency, the Ambassador from Brunei, uh, Ambassador Ali. Can you stand up, Mrs. Ali? And um, without any further ado, I just wanted again to thank everyone for making this happen because it, it, it takes a team. And this couldn't have happened without those who contributed to making this happen because this festival is going to enhance and enrich the lives of countless because these are films that would normally not be seen. And uh, this is untapped talent. So we, Roger Garcia, thank you so much for coming all the way over here and, and all the other wonderful people there. So without further ado, I'd like to have the, uh, the following individuals come up. We wanted to recognize them for their outstanding contribution to making sure that this film festival happened and they are part of our film festival committee. First, we have my wonderful colleague, Judge Chung Pak. Please come up here. My wonderful friend, the famous, incomparable Larry Law. Come up here, Larry. And we also have another great Peter Chang. Is he here? Is he here? Famous restaurateur. I believe. And uh, Eiling uh, Chow. Eiling, come up, come on up here. As well as everybody knows Simon Chan. Give him a big hand. Well, these are the individuals that are the foundation and that made this happen. So let's give them another big round of applause. Thank you so much for making this happen. So 
for our next guest, I would like to invite Ms. Dottie Lee. Dottie Lee works as、uh, is an is expert in the news and、uh, communications field. He, she was the former、uh, news, news chief for, for、uh, <laughs> President Clinton. So please welcome Dottie. My name is Dottie Lee. I work、uh, for the Governor's Commission. On Asian Pacific American Affairs. I think I have some colleagues here as well.、Um, that's my volunteer job, but uh, uh, I do have a daytime job. I wear the hat of president and fa- founder and CEO of Trans Pacific Communications. And it's my honor to present the next award the Outstanding Contribution Award on the movie selection process to recognize three important individuals. They are. Janie O'Connor. Is she here in the audience? Come on up. Oh, he, Janie. Pardon me. Congratulations. The next individual is Yong Zhao. Yong Zhao. Going around once, twice. And the third individual is. Alexis Scott. All right, well,、uh, congratulations. Please stand here, and I will present you the award. Congratulations to our award recipients. So next, I would like to invite Mr. Dwight Yen. Dwight Yen is one of our co-organizers, and he represents Paradise Clubs. Dwight, thank you. It's my pleasure to present this award. This is an award of outstanding contribution for the six unique individuals who helped with promoting the film festival. They are Roger Garcia, please come up. David Thomas, Giovanna Salas, B.K. Kopolsky, Joe Gul. Glus, Gluso, and Renee Bolio. Congratulations. Next to announce the award is Lily Chi. She is the first Chinese-born state legislator in Maryland. She represents District 15 as its new delegate in the Maryland General Assembly. Lily. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lily Chi, and I'm really honored and privileged to, jo- to join you here tonight. I've been following Senator Susan Lee's footsteps. Both of us serve in the Maryland Legislature, representing Montgomery County. And you know, a lot of great things have been said about this film festival. But what I love the most about this film festival is the fact that it's called the, the Montgomery International Film Festival, <laughs> not some kind of Washington International Film Festival. We are over a million people strong. It's about time that we are on the map. Right? It's about time that we are treated like a big city, like a destination. So that's why we're here celebrating ourselves as a community.、Um, before I present the awards, I want to recognize a couple of individuals who walked in a little late and haven't been recognized as elected officials.、Um, 
First of all, I want to recognize Neil Harris, uh, also Gaithersburg City Council member. Um, you, Michael Sesma and Lorian Sells have been introduced before, but I also want to make a mention of the President and CEO of the Gaithersburg Germantown Chamber of Commerce, Marilyn Balcom. Please stand. Thank you. And these are all great partners. And by the way, we are within the city of Gaithersburg boundary. Rio Washingtonian is in the city of Gaithersburg, which by the way, is America's the most diverse small city in the whole country. The most diverse small city in the United States is right here in Gaithersburg. So of course we should have our own international film festival. Thank you for your vision, Corina. Um, so I am going to announce the winners, which are the judging panel, uh, the judges uh, of the, uh, the judging panel, uh, who putting a lot of sweat equity to make this event successful. I'm gonna just announce their names, and please come forward when your name is announced. Ashish Wa, Nikki Baum, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, as people butcher my name all the time, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Brown, Kirk Ride, Guy Renato, and Ping Fu. I'll, I'll stand here. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put into this by every single one of the judges uh, who are all extremely qualified, experienced, and have a lot of love and passion for this filmmaking process and for art house film in general. And we are so grateful to everybody at the Mon Montgomery International Film Festival yeah. for giving this grand honor to all of us to be able to um, make our um, choices and give our input in selecting um, the, best, um, the best films and all the other contributions. So thank you very much, it was an honor and um, uh, we are humbled and prideful of this beautiful award, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you and congratulations. Our next announcer is Tony Sun. He is the chief editor of ACM, and ACM is one of the co-organizers of the Montgomery International Film Festival. Tony. I'll be translating for him as well. 大家晚上好。下面由我来揭晓本次电影节组委会特别荣誉奖，以表彰。为保护和传承文化做出贡献的电影来做这个艺术拯救和传承的事情 
要友谊的多，加油，祝福。Chinese opera films have played a very positive role in saving and inheriting Chinese drama arts, and the legend of Liu Yi has done well in outstanding performance. Hopefully, more Chinese filmmakers will rescue and inheritance more in an artistic way than make it up as entertainment. The special contribution award goes to the legend of Liu Yi. Benjamin up again.、Uh, Benjamin is the deputy secretary of the Maryland Department of Commerce. Ben, thank, thank you, Tony. You know, it's my privilege to return back to the stage to reveal the special honorary award for exploring and preserving the culture. And this year's award goes to the movie Study Abroad. What about your dad? I don't have a dad. The message in the movie "Study Abroad" reaches the lack of contemporary Chinese communities in the U.S. in a surrealistic way. It inspires Chinese students and Chinese community in the states to think. Provides a sincere good wish for the Chinese to join the American mainstream society in the artist perspective. Promote the American spirit of multicultural coexistence and co-prosperity. I am going to announce the special contribution award for the movie *Study Abroad*. Thank you so much. And、uh, I want to thank Maryland because without you guys, we cannot make this movie. We did this like four years ago, and、um, I just graduated from my MFA program. I'm, a, I'm a, as an international student, so I'm just play myself. <laughs> just like that. So just like myself, yeah. So uh, uh, my Chinese name,、uh, the Chinese name of this film is called Amy, and. Amy is a name that's、uh, for my character, and we also have another Amy who is my、uh, advisor in the film. Hi,、uh, my name is Amy Walton, and I am a Montgomery County resident. So I'm really pleased to be here. Thank you so much for. <laughs>、um, Thank you so much for bringing this wonderful festival. This film was、um, a really intense and amazing experience for me. I was the only native English speaker on the set, and so while I couldn't actually speak with many of the people there, we were able to overcome a lot of language boundaries, and I learned to appreciate the Chinese culture so much because of my experience with such an incredible cast, and it was such an amazing experience. So. Thank you so much to、um, to Hang Wei and to Katie Lee and to all of the other people, and then of course to my husband who was an amazing support. <laughs> Thank you. Our next announcer is His Excel Excellency, the Ambassador from Malaysia. Please welcome. Special contribution award goes to Dark Light. The movie's essence lies in its deep insight into humanity and the complications of religion and law. 
It's not only a movie on homosexuality, but it's a story of self-expression. Now she will not return, not until she achieves her aims. Har manzil paar kar lenge, Baba. Lekin bas ab kuch aisa karna hai ki sapno se dar nikal jaye. Lee Hoff, the movie's essence lies in its deep insight into humanity and the complications of religion and law. It's not only a movie on homosexuality, but it is a story of self-expression. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, actually, uh, I want to thank uh, Margaret and Karina to inviting me here and giving this opportunity to be here in this panel and recognizing our work. Uh, I'm thankful to all the team. I met a lot of great people out here uh, in the last three days and share a lot of great uh, experience from each other. And I would like to Thanks again, entire team, the guests out here, to you know, uh, to hear and encouraging us for this film. Mark and we uh, produced together this film called Lihaf, and Dark Light also is my other film which I have produced. Uh, Mayur is the director of this film, and Chandni is the lead for this uh, film. So I think I have the round of applause for these people also at the same time. I feel like because they have done a fantastic job for this film. Thank you very much. speaker is Isti Mitchell. She is the co-founder of the Health and Wellbeing Foundation, a nonprofit organization committed to promoting a healthier and happier lifestyle. Isti? I will reveal, uh, I'll be revealing the Outstanding Documentary Award of the MIFF. They are the Good Deaf and the film chosen from China Global Television Network, Lonely Glacier, Guardians of the Gibbons and Wetland Legends. I have walked many years. The Good Death is an extraordinary film about a very powerful, still very taboo, and unexplored subject. I personally felt the director and filmmakers did an outstanding job in presenting the subject, the journey and the emotions within the entirety of the film. The courage of both filmmakers and the individuals whose lives and choices were explored in the film deserves a huge kudos as it is not something many of us would share and in such an open and non-censored way. There's very little research done in very brave series, choice and very artistically made like to bring to such a bring painful subject to life in portraying but such beauty, acceptance and something. hope within it. Otherwise I'll just be sitting in a wheelchair doing Lonely nothing. Glaciers, Guardian of the Gibbons, a wetland legend. There are options. Raising awareness to environmental issues is a major issue every society faces. This documentary team risked their own personal safety 
in order to capture some of the most stunning experiences of nature's environment and its inhabitants. Through their lenses, we are able to witness the beauty of nature and their sincerest appreciation of Mother Earth. This is the answer. If I press that button, is that the absolute total end of me? I don't know. The good death is an extraordinarily film about very powerful, still very taboo, and unexplored subject. I personally feel the directors and the filmmaker did an outstanding job in uh, presenting the subject. The journey and the emotions within the entirety of the films, the courage of a filmmaker and the individual who life and choice were explored in the film deserve huge kudos as it is not something many of us would share in such open and non concrete way. Very brave choice and very artificially made to bring such painful subject to life, portraying such beauty, acceptance, and hope within it. Next guest is Dong Hua. He is a biologist. Please come up. It's my honor to come here. I will be revealing an outstanding documentary director. He's a director behind a shot in the night. Alejandro Diesel. This documentary is an absolute fantastic showcase of molding a first person documentary interview style experience of art house quality in the way it was designed and edited as well as its pacing. It very much reminded me of the Louis Thoreau documentaries, but with much more charisma and soul. The subject was fantastic, and through the director's vision, the film took me on a journey inside the life and heart of modern-day tango and its evolution from the traditional tango. I was mesmerized at how artistic this film was, especially since usually a subject like this is told through a traditional documentary way. Next, I want to invite Guy Renardo, and since we didn't introduce him before, he is an award-winning composer, orchestrator, and producer who studied at the classical music, music department of the conservatory Mas, Mas, shit, yeah. in Germany. Yes, welcome, Guy. Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that's a moment.
Um, but first, you know, first we're going to announce uh, the best uh, actress. I want to say something about this animal. So, and that's, a, that's everything to do with the art house. Because if you have, for, for example, um, in, in Chinese is Jin Gu. Yeah, I've, I've learned this. <laughs> in Dutch, it's called in Schilpad. In uh, France, uh, we, we call it in Tortue. And in uh, English, it's Tortel. And when you take, for, for example, um, a turtle and also, um, uh, you know, a turtle is a very uh, interesting animal because, you know, he's walking very, very slow. And um, art house is something special because art house has to do with art. And art is always very slow. But, you know, the long term about art house is when you're believing in, in your own art and you're believing in your own story to write nice uh, uh, stories that bring you m much more further than uh, a quick one. So I think, you know, that uh, animal is very symbolic for this festival. So anyway. <laughs> so um, about, uh, so the winner of the first um, Montgomery International Film, Film Festival is uh, the actress from the studio abroad, Kadi Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, this proposal was not accepted. Why? This is the first time Kadi Lee acted in a leading role. Her performance completed the character of Amy, an international student facing challenges in the U.S. Best wishes for her future. I think your conclusion is very flawed. I will find the donors. Buddy, I, I saw your movie and it was wonderful. I was the one, I, I, I give you a 10 for the acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, sure, you know, I have to be honest and I can say it now. So, so anyway, because, you know, I also give master classes and I, I'm uh, doing also a lot with students and I really liked the movie and uh, it was uh, great to see, uh, yeah, great, yeah, yeah. So, um, this is the first time that uh, Kadi Lee acted in a leading role. So she played also herself, it's very authentic. Uh, her performance completed in a character of Amy, an international student facing challenges in the US. Best wishes in the future. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite Ashish Wak, founder of Dream Beyond Entertainment, co-founder and managing director of the Indian film studios Private Limited. Thank you very much. I'll be revealing the Outstanding Short Film Screenwriter Award of MIF, the winner is the screenwriter of Last Chance, Mr. Jin Xiao Chang, for the Last Chance. In 80 minutes, the story of Last Chance led the audience through a story of life and death. She is not my mom. Okay. She gave birth to me and that's it. 
。我有个朋友，他们有很好的治疗癌症的方案。我那资料帮我，我就会帮他开枪。我现在已经过了不想死的那个过程，我现在是视死如归。哎呀，你这是他妈的说的太正确了。你为什么不信基督啊？我快了。Our next guest is Roger Garcia. Please welcome back to the stage. Okay, the uh, I'm happy to give the outstanding short film actress award goes to actress. Zhang Yubai from the movie Last Chance. A mother with only one week to live. A story about the powerlessness and struggle of a woman facing her mortality. Yubai's performance gave us insight into how an actress should tackle real life issues. Thank you, Yubai, for your performance. This makes me my dream come true, and、uh, the film called Last Chance. But for me, it's a beginning chance <laughs> to be an international actress <laughs> because before I always play in French films. Thank you so much. Our next speaker is Samuel Ma. Mr. Mock is the founder and managing member of the Condor International Advisors. Mr. Mock was also one of the highest-ranking Asian Americans in the George W. Bush administration. He once served as the CFO of the U.S. Department of Labor from January 2001 to May of 2007. Mr. Mock. Thank you. This is a great young man, great MC, and also、uh, I've seen him in action many times. My name is Sam Mark, and、um, my wife and I, Nancy, sitting there, moved to the state of Maryland 43 years ago, and we lived in Montgomery County for 37 years. So I'm very happy today to be here as part of the Montgomery Film Festival. Our children have lived here in Montgomery County all these years. Went to school in Montgomery County. And I have four. We have four grandchildren living in the county. So this is very, very happy occasion for us. Karina, thank you very much for giving the great honor to present the awards. I was looking at somebody talk about a turtle. So I asked my wife actually earlier, why is the turtle the symbol of this event? My wife is probably one of the smartest person I ever met. A very good judgment. Let me tell you why. All the guys out there. She can. She could have dated. She picked me as her husband, so she had excellent judgment. <laughs> but anyway, she said, "The turtle is slowly but surely it will get there." So I know this is not easy, Karina. I know you did a lot of work, and I'm very impressed. But I also know that this is probably the closest thing I will get to an Oscar experience. So I really enjoy this. I'm an accountant by profession. I worked for a big accounting firm before, but I did not work for PwC. So I'm not going to screw this up. You remember? <laughs> Those you remember, right? Here, here's the award. Outstanding Actor Award goes to Hu Hong David from the movie Last Chance. In this film, Last Chance, 
Actor David Hu meticulously depicts the change of the main character by his vivid acting. His acting is concise, without excessive or overacting. He completed the role and stands out very well. David because he's an old friend and in case you don't know he is probably one of the original and the best Chinese American comedian uh, he tells great jokes he has a little skit I hope that you guys get a chance to see one day and also he is an excellent singer Next, I'd like to invite my friend, Nikki Fang, to come up on stage. Thank you, Tony. <clears throat> wow, this is a... Being on both sides of the camera, this is a big moment for me. Even to present this, I'm very proud of whoever is in this page, so... Sorry, I'm not really good at this. Um, so, the winner of the outstanding short film director goes to Wei Yi, the director of the film Last Chance. This is the first time Wei Yi has directed a short film. Her performance surpassed everyone's expectations. Although she used the most basic equipment, she was still able to deliver a touching story, nevertheless. We hope her continued success and her unique way of storytelling. Next, I'd like to invite David Thomas, an outstanding soundtrack composer in artistic films and documentary films. Good evening, everyone. The outstanding short film award goes to the world. The Words is a great representation of the Return to Art House film theme of the MIFF. Next up, I'd like to invite two guests 
to come up is Joseph Shao and Jeff Brown. Hi. Go ahead. This is uh, for the best screenwriter award, and this I think you the have the. Best, uh, I have the envelope. You have the envelope. Yes. Actually, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Karina, who did such a wonderful job. It's a great friend and great associate, especially for the Chinese American Chamber of Commerce of Greater Washington. She's also part of. She's a busy lady, I tell you. <clears throat> My name is Joseph Shao. As you know, I'm not involved in film industry, but Shao Brothers Studio in Hong Kong, I'm sure everybody knows. They are part of our family. <laughs> he doesn't know me, but we are the same village. <laughs> and also, I'd like to mention, since I'm not in the film, but my wife, Pat Chow, who is sitting back there, is a Amy Award winner with my son, just last, in uh, two months ago, here in Montgomery County. <laughs> you can read it. Why don't you read it? So the nominations for Outstanding Screenwriter are uh, Time Out and Les Salopes, or the Naturally Want On Pleasure of the Skin. The award goes to Time Out, Screenwriter Mati Ki Nu Nen, Yuha Kore Nen. The inadequate and completely oblivious self-indulgent principle also brings a character which we have met in our lives at least once, whom is so utterly useless yet has thoughts of grandeur that you almost feel you are watching a Monty Python character representation of the modern be inclusive to everyone yet not fully understanding where the problem lies, wanna be humanitarian. This is an exceptional film with depth. Visually stunning sequences, beautiful directing, superb acting, and absolutely fantastic and tremendous script, all interwoven in an artistic and extremely unique dramatic way. Simo, sun pitäis käydä kansliassa. En osallistu minkäänlaiseen kiusaamiseen tai vaaran tuottamiseen. Ja sit reilu peli, eiks niin? Next up, I'd like to invite Kirk Ride and Giovanna Salas. Good evening, everyone. I feel like in a, I'm in LA right now, but <laughs> I'm so happy and honored to be here at the Montgomery International Film Festival. I want to thank um, everyone that organized this wonderful event. And also I want to thank my team that came uh, from LA with me. And uh, I'm just so happy to be here today. And this is such an honor. Yes, indeed. Thank you. A lady to the rescue, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> it's my pleasure to be here as well. I think this is a very forward-thinking festival. I think Art House Films are the wave that's coming due to uh, inexpensive uh, digital technology allowing anyone out there to make a movie, make a very personal movie, and have an avenue for it, and a place like this to gather together and support each other in making those kind of personal movies. And talking about technology, um, this award is uh, for cinematography, the best cinematography. Yeah. So. The nominations for Outstanding Cinematography are Time Out, Free Slave, Our 40 Years, and the award goes to Free Slave. Sorun. Free Slave stunning scenery of the cold winter days really brought the audience into the environment. Yalnız yakikatto. Hakikatebi. 
Yaşam budur işte. Eğer insanlara Allah'ı düşünmeleri için yardım etseydik... ...eğlenceye pek fazla bağlı olmayacaklardı. İblis, Tecal her tarafı sardı. Şehvetin ve paranın kölesi oldular. Sizler, bizler ve bütün insanlık modern çağın kurbanlarıyız. Ama çölde bir kuyu açmak. En acı şartlardan insanın olgunlaşıp gelişmesi doğar. Ama yaşamın çok güç. Her tarafta kölelik. Evet ama hür köle. Allah, yeryüzünün cenneti, her yerde O'nun ismi, her yerde O'nun resmi. Next, I would like to also invite two guests, the ambassador from Brunei and Ping Fu. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are presenting the um, best supporting actress. The nominations for the best uh, supporting actresses are Lost Rainbow, The Return of Ancient Pendant, Jia Kua, Study Abroad, Amy Weldon, Time Out, Phila Pentian. And the winner is Phila Pentiment. Congratulations. <laughs> Pila Pantanen left a mark on the big screen. What a wonderful performance. Best of luck to Pila. Next up, I would invite Ria Hui Wang and Guy Renardo to come up stage. So, it's all in Chinese. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> it is a great honor to present this the best supporting actor of the world. Um, oh yeah. So the nomination for the outstanding supporting actor and actress are Kilikis and uh, the town of Olds. And are they here? I saw. I hope so. Um, Our forty years. Yeah, yeah. Our forty years. Uh, that's a very difficult Bao name. Bao Zhengjiang. Bao Zhengjiang. And, <laughs> and oh yeah. And the winner goes to. Uh, Kilikis, yeah, the town of Alls. Alls. Yeah, no, no, Thank you for Med's outstanding performance. It is easy to forget you are watching an act when it's played on the screen. <laughs> Thank you. 
ولكن انا شاك واش كاينه شي حاجه اخرى هي اللي مخليها هنا Our next guests are Mark Bache and Li Hua Peng. Please come up. I'm very happy here, you know, to give the awards because it's always a great moment. I remember in LA, of course, when I came there the first time in 1992 for before the rain. I was waiting. I said, "Man, my film, my film, my film," and I didn't get it. I was so desperate. I went back to France. And then we had the opportunity to go back there in 2002. Then I was waiting, waiting, waiting, and I got it. <laughs> so you go on stage, and you have the Oscar, and you go, yes, here it is. So I wish that all the filmmakers here will get also actresses, actors will get an Oscar because it's really very valuable. But here, now, the awards from here will be so valuable thanks to you. Okay. You, you read it? Oh, I do. Yes. Those nominated for the Outstanding Producer Award are Kitty Kiss in the film The Town of Olds and Lost Rainbow, The Return of Ancient Brendant. And the award that goes to uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Producer. Oh, that's a Chinese. He, he, I'm sorry if I'm misspell the name He Jun He Zhi Jun He Okay <laughs> Talk to the best ones <laughs> Yeah go Zhi Yuan Bai Su Hua Yu Ri Xin He from from Lost Rainbow The Return of Ancient Pendant Comprehensive cultural insight in filming outdoors has led to an excellent movie for cultural references. Wow, They're an excellent movie for the cultural references. Congratulations. Next, I would like to invite Christina Poi and Serena Zhang to come up. As a director of the Governor's Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs and the Governor's Commission on South Asian American Affairs, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, some of the commissioners who have participated and uh, watched some of the screenings this week with me. And, uh, they are Dottie Lee, Commissioner Hyun Suk Choi, Commissioner George Dang, and Commissioner Bob Jung. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
Those nominated for Outstanding Actress Award are Ing Lu from Lost Rainbow, The Return of Ancient Penden, and Simo Serenen from Time Out. Winner is Simo Sereno from Time Out. Her seamless expression of the character she plays is nearly perfect. Best of luck to Simo Sereno. to invite Chairman Karina Ho to come up on stage. Well, so many first times today for me. The Outstanding Actor Award goes to Time out, Miki Miko Nushianen. As the lead actor, Miko Nushianen delivers a spectacular performance. His precision with his character was a sight to behold. I'd like to invite co-chairman Margaret Shaw to come up on stage. Outstanding uh, director. The directors nominated for the Outstanding Director Award goes to Reni. A very daring film about a middle-aged woman researching cells through sexuality. The Pleasure of Skin proposes a different perspective by making a woman and her sexuality the subject and no longer the object of the film presenting feminine and sexuality that is self-assured, complex, and subversive. Moi, je préfère jalouse, dépendante et possessive. T'es maman, je peux aussi peut-être que tu penses. Le sexe lié à l'amour est socialement le seul qui soit légitimé. Particulièrement pour les femmes.
I wish you the best for uh, for the future. And uh, thank you so much to uh, to put the light on uh, my work. And uh, my work is a step to uh, to try to reach equity between uh, women and uh, men. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to be uh, there, and I think we are on the on the way for that, and uh, that's I try with uh, this uh, movie. Thank you to um, understood, yes, understood, yes, understood uh, my movie, and um, yes, I appreciate this festival uh, so much. I met a lot of amazing uh, person, and it's. Uh, an incredible experience, and thank you very much. Thank you, Margaret, um, Karina, Jay, and everybody to work on this uh, amazing festival. Thank you. Have a great uh, night. Thank you. <laughs>I'm going to be staying up here for the next one. I'd like to invite Sun Kui, a famous Chinese investor who is also uh, critical in helping us start this film festival. The nominated films are Time Out and Les Salopes or The Naturally Wanton Pleasure. The winner goes to Time Out. Time Out is a fantastic film that is both structured, intense, and thrilling at the same time. The story and the plotline slowly unravels with marvelous performances by every actor in the piece. As a continuous bullying problem transgresses into survival, moral obligation, and even conspiracy on both child and adult levels. <laughs> Omelle kalsareille. En ollut sen. Siellä on tehty muitakin ikäviä juttuja. Mitä juttuja? No sehän tässä nyt pitäisi selvittää, että mitä juttuja täällä tehdään ja ketkä niitä tekee. Toi ei ihan ihan sekasi. Ei ihmekä, että poika oireilee. Jotahan tässä on tehtävä. Joskus asiat vaan pahenee, jos niitä rupeaa tonkimaan. Tonight, and I would like to once again invite both Margaret and Karina, our co chairmen to come up on stage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? Okay, um, you worked very hard to select all these 1,700 some films for the judges. Oh, actually, you have done too much. Oh, too for much. So next year I will yeah. do less. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, too I, much I, indeed. Yeah. I, I would like to um, uh, say um, thank you. Thank you for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we made it. Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So. Um, now we will officially announce the Montgomery Film International Film Festival successfully conclude for tonight. So we all yeah. can right. get yeah. And 
After the gala dinner, please join us for the gala dinner. And after that, please go to Cinema 10 to watch our closing, closing movie. Dark Light. Thank you. <laughs> um, but, but, but, yeah, I, I hope everyone can to watch this movie. And this movie is very, very great. Yeah. Um, I, I hope everyone can uh, share this beautiful, great movie from India. Thanks, Ashish. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Dark Light Crew. Yeah, thank you. Thank you okay, for so bringing <laughs> so great movie. So by the time we finish the dinner, and then movie, that will be like midnight, but um, you know, you can be late a little bit to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please enjoy the dinner. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the amazing speeches. And once again, I would like to thank Karina and Margaret for putting in the effort to make this festival thank you. great again. Thank you. I think this is the first time that a lot of us ambulance is on its way, right? I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. Mark? Mark? Mark? Stay with me, okay, Mark? Sari dunia pe raj karna chaate hain. अपनी कॉम बढ़ाने के लिए मशीनें चाहिए इन्हें। चेकिलन स्त्रापलार बोशुना दी सब कुछ बिखरता ही चले जा रहा है ये जिंदगी शायद तुम्हारे लिए नहीं किसी और के लिए हो तुम्हें क्या पता What about your dad? I don't have a dad. Le sexe lié à l'amour est socialement le seul qui soit légitimé, particulièrement pour les femmes. Vientos violentos en la ciudad, grandes valores sin cotizar. A contramano fuerza en la voz, según el titular. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy divine bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have been here for 12 years. I think your conclusion is very flawed. I will find the donors. Este tiempo de una revolución. But I have to do this. I love you. Why do you not believe in God? I. Quiet. Is that the absolute total end of me? I don't know.
Sarkut and honey.